No. Can't import. Okay. No big deal. A Again, it's going to be a struggle here at the beginning. We've got everything in the world against us. We're a minor nation. We don't have a whole lot of power. We're weak, of course. No one wants to help us. We've got all these colonizers on our border. I was hoping they would promote trade, but apparently no one wants to trade with us. But one day, oh, one day will we get there and be powerful. Maybe, maybe take 50, 70 years, but I promise we'll get there. How do we not get charity hospitals? We don't have medical degrees. Okay, fair. I, too, would probably not want a doctor working on uh, fixing me if they do not have a medical degree. So I understand the need. Civilization. How do we get, once again, medicine? Medical degrees are over there. I also learn about democracy. Ew, democracy. Who doesn't love a good dictatorship slash monarchy, am I right? Okay. We're filling up. There we go. We're no longer hemorrhaging cash. We're just losing it swiftly. So much better. Can't you tell by my obvious glee? Is now the one tool workshop we've got should start filling with people. Just one guy making tools. Feel sorry for him trying to supply the entire world or entire country with tools. He's one guy in his his basement doing the best he can. Don't worry, we're we're building support. I promise. You don't have to do it forever. Mostly from I guess it's old people because we're losing forty thousand from people dying, and we're gaining a little bit from standard of living. So it's really just the old people who are angry. And I'm not too concerned about pissing them off because, again, apparently they're they're going away in droves. What I really need is these young people get in these farms and factories so we can get our economy back up to stuff. Somewhere what happened last game. We were going well, we were plodding along, isolation this was terrible. We tried to expand, we didn't they didn't let us expand. We tried to expand again, they didn't let us expand. We finally got to expand on the other side of Africa. And then we hit the brick wall, and then all of a sudden, the major powers went, Hey, that's a lot of land. Let's go take some of it. And, of course, the major powers that I had on my side were uh, much weaker than everybody else. So, if there's anything I learned it from the Americans, it's that if you're struggling with your economy, just go to war. It'll fix your problems. Even if cash problems and all that, people will make things work. Once we grab Kalat, it's going to be problematic to go further. I assume the British have the biggest military. They're number six in the world. Who the heck is number one? The most useful tooltip there. Thank you very much for allowing me to see absolutely nothing. Okay, anybody thinking about joining their side? I mean, the British would join us if we gave them some of our country. I wish there was a different way to check. Because saying, yeah, we'll join your war if you give us part of your country is very much not we're going to join your war. That's uh, not near as good as one might hope. Hey, you're my friend. You're a loyal contributor to our marketplace. Hey, I'll join your war and help you out. That seems like a good deal. These other things, not so much. Thanks for watching. You should watch another. Please?